Hi, I'm Mel DeJarnick, Vice President, Semen Processing and Research here at Select Sires. I'd like to talk to you today about the state of our company, our processing program, and more importantly, our systems that we have to make sure that we're providing you with a quality product. And we have systems to get semen out the door, get it used, get fertility evaluations back on, on bulls, particularly in the well-recognized sire conception rate or SCR system. And we get that semen out there uh, in a strategic, well-organized fashion so that we can get results back. And it's not as much about whether the bull is plus or whether the bull is minus, but the fact that we have fertility data that our salespeople and our customers can use from a non-biased source to make their own decisions as to whether or not how well that, that bull performs. And so with that, I'd like to go through a series of a few slides with you that kind of highlights this process. So I'd like to take you through a series of slides of sire conception rate data or SER data for all of the evaluations that have occurred since August of 2017. Now I could have picked any range of dates, but I picked August of 17 because that was the first SCR evaluation after the AGR merger. So we're more or less on an apples to apples level comparable playing field uh, for that most recent time interval. We're going to start with Holstein bulls and just look at all of the bulls that received evaluations. What percentage are represented by which AI organizations? And I hope you see in this first slide that select sires represented 32 to 33 percent of all the Holstein bulls that had evaluations. And the rest of our competitors were struggling somewhere in the 10 to 15 percent range of the total population. Now think about that for a minute. If a producer tells you, I don't want to use a bull that doesn't have an SCR evaluation. I don't care if it's plus, I don't care if it's minus, I just want the data so I know how to make the decision it's a 30% chance he has to go to select sires to find one compared to everybody else. This slide in reality is just a reflection of our size, how well, how big we are, and how well we're getting bulls evaluated. But if you're interested in the high fertility bulls and all of the AI organizations are doing a comparable or equal job with semen quality, then when we go to that upper percentage, we should all be represented equally in that upper percentage as compared to what we were in the total population. Or in other words, we had 32% of the total population. So when we go to the, all the bulls in that category of high fertility plus two and above, we should still represent 32 to 33%. In fact, we jumped to almost 50%. In some evaluations, over 50%, but certainly for the last several years, averaging 45 to 50% of the bulls that are plus two or greater in the Holstein had to come from select sires. And the rest of the competition, again, down in that 10 to 15% range. And if you're a Jersey breeder, the story's even greater. If you look at all the bulls that received evaluations, we represent 40 to 45% of the, all the bulls that even received evaluations and had fertility data for, for a producer to look at. But again, we're overrepresented in that upper population and actually have almost 60, over 60% 60 sometimes of the bulls that have a plus two or greater SCR called Select Sires Home. Think about this for a minute. So we're not talking about just one breed. We're talking about both Holstein and Jersey. We're not talking about just one evaluation. This is over every evaluation for several years. And we're not talking about a small difference. This is a huge magnitude of difference that's been consistently repeatable. And guess what? It was done against competition who had already switched or in the process of switching to quarter cc straws. Remember, it's not the straw that makes the difference, it's the system that makes the difference. And we'll keep doing our job to make sure our systems are providing you with the best genetics and the most fertile package in the industry.